This week's episode of Nudgy Rugby Review is brought to you by Bank of Queensland Kipper Ring, Springer's Solar, Storage Choice, and the Nudgy Rugby Support Group. On tonight's episode. The Premiership's giant killing Ipswich Grammar School are in town to battle Nudgy in the wet. We go around the grounds with some stunning action from every age group in the rugby programme during a weekend of fast-paced running rugby. We profile a young whistleblower from the under-14Bs in Jack McBride. We have a new segment that asks some curly questions and match day highlights from the main game. Tonight on Nudgy Rugby Review. Hi, I'm Emily Laird and welcome to Nudgy Rugby Review. Last Saturday was the crucial fifth round in the GPS competition and the second week that competition points were at stake. And it was the boys from Ipswich Grammar School who were looking to cause an upset. finding a big runner, Tapuosi. Yeah, so obviously it was a bit of a surreal win. Um, uh, at one point we had 13 men on the field. Um, it was a very hard fought win. Uh, Ipswich were a very big side. The arm goes up again, goes out the back. That's Toya, 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 will he score? Close line, Robert Toya, he'll score. Another pick and drive coming to the right. We saw this last week, just driving through, taking the time. Again, Tram. Finding the line, Kyle Schramm, he'll score. Out the back, oh, that's a great line to Colburn. Colburn, Colburn, he's got one to beat. Oh, oh well. So I don't have any other option, it has to be a red card. Okay. Swain. Swain again. Obviously their forward pack outweighed ours by, you know, 10 or 20 kilos. I'm really happy with our performance. I think everyone put in the, the work leading up to the, uh, to the game on Saturday and um, it really paid off with the win and the victory. Um, it was definitely uh, hard fought and uh, I think it was well deserved. Oh, Robert Toya, seven on seven in the scrum. Goes back to the second row. Ball, oh, there's a second shot by oh. Nudgy. Small little knock on there by... What a scrum. By Braden O'Sullivan. Awakai. Oh, oh. oh, there's a hit and a half. Xavier Stowers, he's loving it this afternoon. You know, defence uh, is, a, is a physical act, but um, I think if you're not willing to put your body on the line and uh, do it for a cause, such as uh, the school or each other, and uh, most importantly yourself, um, you can't really do it. So I think it's it's really a mental, mental thing. Out King. King with long Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Goes back. Awakai looking up. Well, he, he doesn't find Stowers this time. He gets away from it. Awakai, the skipper with the skipper's knock. Comes down to the left-hand side. Got some wheels here, the fresh legs. There's only one way to go. Left foot step. Jump at Sobo, misses one tackle. Here we go. Oh, the fresh legs coming <laughs> down the right-hand side of the park. This has got to be good here. Good Byron tackle. Smith, big cutout. This man here has got electric pace, finds it. Each week's different, each team is different, so different playing style. 
So I think we've just got to play and train the way um, for the up and coming team. Setting, we have a motto each week for each team we verse. Um, so I think we've just by following that motto and training hard, and um, I guess looking forward to the week ahead, I think uh, we can continue to improve and uh, I guess get set, set and also not lose that uh, momentum that we've already built. All the way, Alkai with a charge down, bounced off the post, and that's a try. Well, that's been well deserved by Lasters Alkai. He had to be there. 19 points to nil. Hi, my name's Michael Agnew, and I'm the owner-manager of BAQ, G-Bung and Kippering. As a nudgy old boy, myself and the teams of BAQ, Kippering and G-Bung are proud sponsors of Nudgy Rugby and wanted to let you know about a limited time offer. If you're looking for a reason to switch your home loan, BAQ are offering you two and a half thousand of them. Refinance your home loan to an eligible BAQ home loan by the 26th of September and settle by the 12th of December 2020 and you'll get two and a half thousand dollars cash back. Pop in to BAQ Kippering or G-Bung and chat to myself or one of the team to make that switch today. We hope everyone stays safe in this time and we look forward to seeing you all in action. Let's go around the grounds. And one team that continued on its winning ways were the under 15 A's, who ground out a well-deserved but last gasp victory against a determined and well-drilled Ipswich Grammar School. We played really well. Um, we came up against Terrace for the second week in a row, but this time on Wilkes, which was good. Nice, familiar game. We played really well as a team. We structured well. Um, the only problem was our scrummaging because we didn't, we were uncontested, and we find that scrums are a very pivotal part of the game that we can play off. So it was a bit difficult, but yeah, we got up. Uh, we rely on a lot of backs, uh, so we try to draw them out onto the wings and then fling it through the backs on the outside. Definitely our defensive work, one-on-one uh, -on -one tackling, uh, that's a de uh, big part of our game that we need to improve on. I think uh, This season for us is very good because uh, we've only conceded 19 points throughout the season and uh, we've left all the other teams at nil, so it's very, very positive for us. We went pretty good on the weekend, um, I think we won and we had a couple good tackles and runs and our defence was pretty good. Um, the team was really good and we played well as a team. The backs and forwards worked together and that's how we won our game. They had some good defence um, and we were just practising all of our tackling and passing along the line. We need to work on getting it all out to the wing and going at hammers and driving through to get the ball out to our wingers to then so then they can just get a runaway try, hopefully. Well, it's fun and it's not too competitive. You just get to go on the field and have a lot of fun with your friends. G'day Nudgy and g'day Nudgy Grandstand. Spring of Soul are proud sponsors of the Nudgy Rugby Program. We may be green, we may be in a green industry, but we bleed blue and white. Myself and my two brothers are Nudgy old boys. Spring of Soul are CEC accredited electrical contractors and we've been running for 18 years. We're master electricians, we are Solar Edge premium partners, we're an LG platinum dealer, we support products that are high quality and high performing. Partner with Springer Solar for your residential or commercial solar system.
Under 14 Bs player Jack McBride has his hands full on a Saturday and it has nothing to do with wearing the blue and white. In fact, it's more of an orange colour that puts him in the middle of a rugby pitch. Take a look. It's 7.45 on Saturday and the very first game of home day has the two youngest teams ready to line up against each other. The match referee is also the youngest in charge. Refereeing's fun because like little kids look up to you. Like you can teach them the game. You also learn more of the game if you ref. And it's just better than sitting at home on your on your phone or something. Just get out of the house, run around. So can I talk to everyone. Oh, who's the captain? It's James. And what position is James? Uh, I'll chat through here please. I don't want like the whole team yelling at me. Oh, I had to do these tests online for me to become a ref. If I got over a certain percent, I was able to ref. You're running that way so you're kicking here, or oh, receiving. So go over that side. Rugby is a simple game, but a referee has the challenge of understanding its complex rules. Oh, I reckon I've known really what, pretty well. I just need to work on a few of them. Oh, a leany referee. Oh, like lenient to both sides, not one bias ref. Oh, look, I'd rather play than ref, but I'll probably do this till year 12, probably. Oh, it's good money. On side! Ludry, make an effort to roll! He's on the ground, release him! You guys gotta release him when his knees are on the ground. Refereeing is a great way to learn about the game, earn some pocket money, but also to contribute to the bigger rugby pitcher. The games don't go ahead without a referee out there, so you've got to have someone out there, you've got to have someone who's fair um, and can uh, manage the, uh, the players. They've got to start somewhere and starting at schoolboy level is a great uh, place to start. They can move from there, move, in, move up the ranks a little bit there and try and get to the very, very top, which is at test and super rugby level. No, it bounced, he caught it too. Jack started uh, refereeing um, earlier this year and I've seen nearly all his games so far there and I've been really impressed with the way in which he's taken to it. He's working really hard on there, I've given him a couple of little work-ons to do there and there's some good evidence that he's trying to acquire those, um, those skills there so I'm really impressed with the way he's going there. Love, love his attitude there, he, he doesn't go for the whistle, he allows the game to breathe, the players get a chance to play, the parents on the sideline, they want to see their kids play, they don't want to see a referee blow the pee out of the whistle and, uh, and ruin the game, and Jack's a great example of letting the kids play. Tackle! He's gone straight over! But the curse of any sporting official is having to deal with the inevitable ire of the sideline. Oh, little kids giving you a bit of lip being annoying in that, like making a call by yourself and like coaches and people on the sideline getting angry and stuff. But yeah, just seeing little kids run around is it's fun. Undoubtedly one of the games of the day were the mighty Sixers, who went above and beyond all expectations by defeating a more than capable Ipswich third 15. It wasn't the um, score we wanted to get. They had the um, physical build that we didn't have with height. 
Uh, we need to um, get to the breakdown quicker and, and not put as many people in there and spread more. More league getting over the breakdown and spreading the ball out wide. We came up against a bigger um, Ipswich 15B side, so playing up a grade. Um, the boys took it pretty well, they were a lot bigger than us, which I think the boys were a bit intimidated to start with. Um, started the game really well, um, which we have the last couple of weeks, which is good. Um, bit of a slow start in the second half, which is something that's happened two weeks in a row, so definitely something we need to work on. Um, but we spoke about it, we regrouped um, and we finished the game strong, so I think we finished with 36-12, so the boys are really pleased with that um, result. Nadja does a really good job in pre-season everything about ball security and just working on the fundamentals so even when it's super wet um, those basics that you do at training sort of you see it on the field so I think wet weather footy nudgy just excels because of the things that they've put in place from the the grassroots basically or where we start at. He hosts his own vodcast and is certainly a man of the people. So we thought we'd give him his own segment. Here's Bill's Curly Ones. Hey guys, I'm Billing and Myers, host of Bill's Curly Ones. I'm asking boys questions that they really do not want to answer. Mate, if you could play for any other school than Nudgy, who would it be and why? That's a tough question. I, I'm not sure. I don't think I'd play for anyone else but Nudgy, to be honest. Even anywhere. No, I don't think so. If not Nudgy, then I wouldn't play at all. Uh, I'd probably pick Terrace just because of the rivalry between Nudgy and Terrace. I uh, wouldn't play for any other GPS school. Gotta pick one. I uh, guess I'd go to BBC maybe. Probably TSS. TSS, why's that? Probably the beach. Honestly, TSS. How come? Oh, you know. Uh, beach out there. Yeah? Yeah, nice cars. Um, pretty good at rugby. Can't really choose a school, to be honest. You've got to choose one, mate. Uh, I'll just go TSS then. TSS again? Yeah. Boys, if you could play for any other team other than Nudgy College, who would it be? Brisbane Grammar. Grammar? Same colours. You like, you like same, losing? Same colours. What about you? How come, how come Terrace? Um, they're just almost exactly like Nudgy. Yeah, it's brothers. Uh, I wouldn't play for any other school. Maybe TSS. <laughs> Why? We've got a lot of answers to TSS. How come? Uh, well, they've got probably a quite a strong rugby program as Nudgy is. Like winning, hey? Oh, yeah. But even then, I still wouldn't want to play for them. I don't think I would. You have to. Oh, it wouldn't be Terrace. That's good. Uh, Terrace is just, you know, I just think I'd get hurt by the yeah. Nudgy boys if I went to Terrace. I wouldn't go somewhere with bad, you know, rugby. Mm. Probably BBC, I reckon. BBC? Yeah. Only one premiership they've won, ever. I don't know, they just, you know, getting a spark now after last year's. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon BBC, they got some yeah, pretty strong like boys, like they got some pretty big boys on the team, yeah. Jeez, TSS was a popular answer, but uh, boys, remember, we want to keep you here at Nudgy. Make sure you tune into Nudgy Rugby Review next Wednesday from 5 p.m. for all the action from the Garden City as the blue and white machine towards Toowoomba. This week's episode of Nudgy Rugby Review is brought to you by Bank of Queensland Kipper Ring, Springer's Solar, Storage Choice, and the Nudgy Rugby Support Group.